Hello, Joe Gaming Girly here. Um, so yeah, we've got some Spectrum games here, and we cleaned these up, and they look so much nicer, lovely and shiny and clean. But you know, there's a couple of things I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna glue this down, and the same with the. Uh, Bart versus the Space Mutants. Um, also, if you can see it there, we're going to replace the pure rusty um, staples with some new ones so it doesn't get worse or affects another page. Um, on this one, yeah, we've got some mending to do here as well, just a couple of bits. Yeah. I'm not sure what I could do with all that, but we'll figure it out. Um, I didn't know how to place the camera really, because I want to show you how I'm mending these. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this little book. Manual. Uh, um, I don't know if you can see it all. There is some rust and we're going to replace those um, before they get really really rusty and we don't want that affecting the really cool manual um, yeah it's a very cool colourful manual actually on the uh, oh this is Space Mutants I don't particularly like the game on the Mega Drive I'm hoping the Spectrum uh, version of the game is a much better game it would be obviously different you know, to the, the Mega Drive one. And I love this one because it comes with this you've seen it before, but it comes in one of these little original bags, ocean bag, and it actually had the amazing pin badge. Oh I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I was like, oh my god, it's complete. How mint is this? And I do love the Simpsons, so that is just cool. I mean I'm never gonna wear it. This is staying with my the games. <laughs> yeah, um, we've got the same sort of thing as the turtles one. It's coming apart, so we are going to glue this all down. New staples. So, right, what are we going to do first? Let's get on with it. Um, I'm probably going to sort of edit it down a bit because <laughs> I'm just, yeah, what am I doing? Um, and yeah, so, right, I think first off. I don't know if I can open this pot of glue now. <laughs> but yeah, how am I getting on with the spectrum? Well, I'm just liking the learning process of um, everything, really. Like, how it all works. Um, and it's exciting to find out, uh, you know, new games I've never played before in my life. Um, obviously, we know some of them, like I said. Batman, we know Batman, we know Double Dragon, um, you know, that sort of thing. But there's a load of games that I've not even, never played in my life, never heard of. And we are going to test some of those games um, in this video, actually. Um, there's some games that really, really interest me, sure. All right, let's get some glue on here. Um, like that. Make sure it's all. This needs a bit of TLC. Um, sometimes, you know, these, people forget these retro games are super old, and they've had a lot of love. You know, they've been played to death by children, adults. You know, and. So many people have fully enjoyed them. You know, they're old. They're several years old. You know? But I love this part of the retro collecting um, side of things. So next, I don't know if you can see anything that I'm doing. I'm just doing... So next we're going to do this little... That bit will glue the rest of it down. Um, I'm trying to do it so you can see me do it. But it's just a bit awkward. But... Not the best camera angle, but there ain't no other way of 
I can't explain it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm super enjoying it. And I like fixing things and, you know. You get this all lovely. I mean, they're very mint anyway. Like I say, it just needs a bit of TLC. Give it some. There we go. Get in there. Been meaning to do this. Oh, good. This is a very good glue. It's a mod podge. I use it for a lot of crafty things. Um, oh wow, yeah, that's glued. That's so nice. And, you know what I mean? That's glued that proper down. Um, I think everything's all good on this. So yeah. Yeah, that's all good. Um, I'll put that to one side to dry. And uh, yeah, we we'll attempt this box now. Um, the rest of the sides are fine. It's just this bit. You know, it's just a little bit of glue. That's all. And we're done. I mean, these boxes are super mint. Like I say, look, look at that. Beautiful shine to this box now, huh? I love these boxes. Um, I guess there was more than just these two games that had boxes, but yeah. Hopefully I can uh, find some more sort of Tate games anyway. Um, what's it like down here for like Spectrum games? Um, I don't ever see Spectrum games in any of the stores in Sussex area, so... Uh, yeah, CEX definitely doesn't stock any of that. They just, they don't even stock Atari for some weird reason. Just the popular retro, um, really, is what they stock for. So, you know, Pokemon games, that kind of thing. Well, I suppose everything Nintendo. That's what they tend to... Uh, stock don't they but you won't see spectrum or atari games in uh yeah cx <laughs> um as for sort of like i guess um, other shops i don't know yet because i need to go to brighton again and who knows i mean you never know what you're gonna get in that amazing my favorite retro gaming store now, uh, Magic for some gaming. Brighton. You never know. They could get any of thinking. They could actually get Spectrum, Atari, whatever. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to find in that place. Um, they do. I mean, if you said my password, is they do do. Um, you know, a lot of Japanese. Uh, retro games and it's amazing. I did see a really cool uh, it Resident Evil Zero Japanese GameCube game. That was really cool. Um, I didn't pick that up. Um, I don't have a Japanese GameCube or anything like that so um, I'd rather get games that I actually can play and things. <laughs> but it was very very cool. So we have to make sure it's all pop down there. Yeah, that's better. Don't see it. Put that to one side to dry as well. It's got a proper dry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta have a think about that one. I don't think there's much I can do with that. Well, I suppose I could put pieces of the uh, card in the inside and uh, to hold it together, but not today. Um, so yeah, not right now we're going to do that. <laughs> I'm not prepared for that. Um, okay, but we will fix that. Next we got the books. So 
so oh my god <laughs> let's do the not so worst one first probably for the best isn't it I didn't bring a tool to sort this out, so I'm sure I can do it. I've got nails in my not the proper way of doing it, but whatever. Let's get right in. So they are some definitely some rusty nails. They might be rusted right in there actually. <gasps> Hopefully not. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah, that was pretty um tough. That. <laughs> there you go. It's out now. Obviously, it's made a mark. Sadly, from the rust, but like I say, they're really old. And so instead of just going like, because we could end up creating the uh, different holes, which I don't particularly want to do, I individually picked out a, a staple, and we're gonna. This is tedious, very fiddly. I don't know why I'm trying to do this on camera, but. Uh... I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but. And then we just place it in the holes like that. Um, I need something to uh, push this down then. Can I use a nail? What can I use? What can I use? I'm not sure. Maybe this. <laughs> I don't want something that it's going to gouge the page open. Just want something to push it down with, you know. Nice and tight. So it don't become loose. There you go, that's perfect. Ah, beautiful. New staple! And you can just shove it down your nail. Wonderful. Yeah, the games I've played so far on the Spectrum is this Pac-Mania game. Really love this. Such a good game. I love Pac Man anyway, but wow. The music, everything, it was just super fun. And, um, Dizzy Panic. Yeah. We played this. Very addictive. Little, uh, puzzly game. And, yeah, I kind of want to get all of the other Dizzy games of the spectrum, I think. Um,. Yeah, and um, all we did with these game cases is uh, give them a good old wipe, and look how shiny that is. Ooh, very nice. Um, anyway, games I'm gonna, I'm interested in playing. Ollie and Lisa 3. Also shiny, because I cleaned it. Yeah, that, this looks really cool. Um... So, Ollie and. Is it Lisa? Or... Yeah, I think it's Lisa. Lisa, the famous duo, back in a candlelight adventure, explore the spooky castle. Ah, well, that's. Uh, I like the sound of that already. Discover mysterious characters and find secret treasure, a magical wand, and candles. Bats, ghosts, traps, and secret passageways in an incredible cartoon adventure. A delightful cartoon caper in a haunted surrounding. It's spooky. I was actually going to play this. There's some little screenshots. I was actually... Oh, it's gone all dark. <laughs> but yeah. um, I was actually going to play this um, Halloween, but didn't have time. I ran out of time. Uh, because it's a little spooky adventure on the spectrum, and I was just like, oh, that'd be perfect. 
Uh, but we're going to try this one out on the Spectrum a bit later. We've got the uh, Popeye game. I'm not sure if this is any good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing much on the back here. Um, apparently it's got, <laughs> I don't know if this is like some sort of score, but graphics 8, sound 7, value 7, playability 7. <laughs> um, Popeye screen pictures shown may be different to machine version of the game. Okay, so it's not going to look like this. <laughs> um, oh, it's got some little instructions that I have to sort of read and hope that I get right. Another game that sort of looked a little bit interesting I can't wait to check out is this game. Rock Ford? Ford? Rock Ford. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be a puzzle game uh, by the looks of the back. What does this say then? Uh, the only true arcade version of the classic game Boulder Dash. Oh, I've heard of Boulder Dash before. Uh, developed using all the 16 bit power of the Amiga for Arcadia systems, arcade cabinets. Okay. There are four levels on each, five different worlds with four screens on each level. If it. Um, it's very tiny writing this, <laughs> and I've got good eyesight, as she says. Um, it all adds up to 80 totally different playable screens. Take up the challenge as you guide Rock Ford through the puzzle puzzles and take on the role of a cowboy, spaceman, doctor, chef and hunter. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd love to see what this is about. I mean, we all know Ghostbusters, but I've never played Ghostbusters on Spectrum. We've got Ghostbusters on Mega Drive. I think of the things too, but I can't think. Mega Drive, I, I know I definitely got one on Mega Drive Ghostbusters, which I've played a lot. Um, yeah. There's some like screenshots. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know what that would be like, but that would have been another good one to play on Halloween. I could have done like a Halloween spooky Spectrum game thing because look, Scooby Doo! And I used to watch a lot of Scooby Doo cartoons back in the day. So I really want to check this out. Um, yeah. It's got a few different versions on there. So you got the Commodore one. There's the Spectrum one and the Amstrad one. Okay, I guess I can play this on all, well, on the Amstrad and Commodore as well. Does that, does these tapes do that? <laughs> Were they more, for more than one microcomputer? See, that's something I don't know. Uh, feature all your favourite, uh, cutting favourites, Velma, Shaggy, Daphne, Fred. And of course, Scooby Doo game features Galley Up, number two chart position boosts a host of yeah, host of magazine awards. Okay, so apparently it was very well scored in magazines. Follow Scooby Adventure through four superbly smooth scrolling screens. That's only got four screens on this. Yeah, must be the shortest game ever. So yeah, we. Really could have had a cool time on Halloween if I, uh, if, uh, <laughs> I wasn't so busy and things weren't so crazy. <laughs> it's, uh, because we could have done, actually, on Halloween. Right, these three spooky games, couldn't we? Never mind, but we're going to do it now. Uh, well, a bit later, we're going to... Carry on mending, because oof, I don't know if you can see that is so rusty. We're gonna mend that. 
it's all part of the retro thing you know so what we i love doing the most i think <laughs> oh, i'm playing them obviously i play a lot of retro mostly um not really um much modern because i just don't have the time for modern gaming they're far too long i said about it before <laughs> um on the podcast actually the recent one on retro bears channel <laughs> Is that? They, they always ask you, like, oh, you know, what games you do? And I was like, I haven't had time to play games. Because <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> um, although I did play a fair few, you know, mostly just DS games, but they're nice and short. You know? So, I turned the lights on because it's got all dark and grey out there. Start going to start to rain in a minute. But, <laughs> yep, these are the. Uh, Rusty uh, staples. So the Spectrum games uh, have got a place now. Uh, they're right here, all stacked up neatly. So what did I end up doing? Ah, obviously I cleaned these two up. Gave them a good wipe down. And. As you saw, we uh, glued some of these bits down that had come away. So that's all done. And the same here, we sort of glued these bits down. And as you can see, I still have that to mend, which I think I can mend. So we did that. And yeah, the books have. Yes, got brand new staples on both of them, as you can see, brand new staples um, that are not rusty anymore. Um, yeah, I was kind of like, is this page meant to be like this? Um, yeah, it's this really weird brown page um, in the middle of this page. Book. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's meant to be like that. Uh, so you learn something new every day. Um, yeah, apparently my partner said something about, you know, it's to stop people from photocopying the passwords on here. Pass passwords and such. So yeah, that's meant to be like that. And oh, we did the same with the Simpsons um, brand new staples so brand new staples in both brand new staples in both of the manuals there you go, you can see a little bit better there and yeah mended the boxes this one had like bits coming up too so that's completely mended now look um, yeah, the manuals are all good um, and obviously I got, I found a little baggie that fits this tape. Um, so yeah, that's uh, so much better now. Um, yeah, they're quite uh, in good condition now I've uh, done those sort of little mends, you know. So yeah, brilliant. Um, and obviously there's a stack at the back as well. So yeah, they fit there quite nicely. So uh, I think that, that this is their new home. And I could put some more at the back. Um, I can put some more under here. Yeah, got plenty of room if I want to get a couple more. So yeah, brilliant stuff. So hello, okay, yeah. So we're going to be playing this once it loads up. This is the loading screen, as we learned. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is the um, Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And we're going to play the Candlelight Adventure. I don't know if you can see this. So we're going to be playing that once it loads uh, up. Uh, yeah, we're going to check a few games out today. I don't know if I'll be able to check out that entire pile that I wanted to check out 
that, you know, we could do more than one of these videos. <laughs> oh my god, this noise. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like this. <laughs> I think that's why I love it so much, because it's very, very different from the Sega Mega Drive and the Sega Dreamcast and the Master System, the DS, the... You know, that's what I'm used to. Nothing like this. Um, but yeah, there's so much I don't know about Sinclair Spectrum. Um, yeah, I got the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 2. Um, 128k one. Okay. We're on. <laughs> it's finally loaded up. There you go, the candlelight adventure. Ollie and I... I said, uh, oh, Ollie and Lisa, but I think it's Ollie and Lessa. Lessa? Alyssa? Yeah, Ollie and Lissa. Hmm. Drinking my tea. So, oh god, I, if I'm absolutely no good at this, I apologise. We are learning. So, okay. I'm guessing I do that. Please select a... I can choose a car! Um, oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, there's up, down. So I'm guessing I can... Yeah, I'm just going to go with you. Did I choose one? How do I choose it? Hmm. Huh. Shrap Rishi. Does have controllers in here for the keyboard. So, start game, enter. Um, I think it might have crashed. Uh, that's the thing with these uh, old ones, you don't know <laughs> if it's gonna fully work or not, but. Um, that's the beauty of it, I suppose. Part of retro, isn't it? Retro gaming. Alright, okay. We got it to work. Oh my god. This character is so cute! Um... Okay, I don't... Right, how do we... Do we... Um, Okay, that's jump. Yes, we know jump, at least. So how do we move? I thought we could move that way, but... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so OP. So... <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so... <sighs> it... It's different for every game, it's unreal. So OP is that, and Q is jump. So let's, oh, we're oh, going up the stairs. Oh no, I can't do this. Oh, there's like a key, but how do we collect you? Um, I need the little manual. <laughs> Once I rem know all the controls, I'll be all right. Um, so how do I collect things? Maybe do I N did I collect it? OP. No. Um maybe did I collect it now? No. I'm trying to think what it could be. Unless you don't collect them. So we got start game and uh go left. Left right. Go up down so short jump. Uh, oh, collect is fire. Um, but what is the controls for keyboard? Because that is joystick. Um, keys. So we do need 
to collect. Right, I have no idea how you collect that. Um, so we're just going to have to... How do we collect? Do we collect that? Do we collect it? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know how to collect it. <laughs> Um, so we got control things for joystick, <laughs> which I do not own at the moment. So, ah, okay, I got it. So, cap locks. I don't think we're going to have time for the massive pile of games I wanted to try out on the here today. So, cap locks is collect. Q is jump and OP back and forth. Okay. All right. Oh, ah. I don't know where we are. Oh, he's having a good old little moan there. He's like, oi. Oh, I don't think so. Um, let's turn this up. You probably can't hear it. But there's not really um, a whole lot of sound to it. Um, it generally sounds like he's farting every time I jump. <laughs> so that's um, wonderful. Hmm? Oh god. And I have no idea how Do I just jump on this guy or... Oh, he's having a good... He's like, oi! Come on, hurry up. No. Right, you get past me. Alright. No! There you go. We've done it. <laughs> Obviously, he's just coming coming over he's having a right old You're like oi get on with it <laughs> you just care oh no oh. I didn't think that was gonna come over to me um but you're gonna come right over because I want my cup of tea um I love this look at the chandeliers it's kind of spooky hauntedy housey yeah I love this game um, spooky castle, as it says, and so what was it? Uh, explore the spooky castle, discover mystery characters, and find secret treasure magical wands and candles, bats, ghosts, ooh, traps, secret passageways. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. Obviously, it takes a bit of use to, um, I do, I, I will get a joystick at some point. I just generally don't know what joystick to get. Um, I thought I had to have an actual Sinclair joystick, but um, because it actually says it on the side, <laughs> Sinclair joystick only, but uh, it turns out you don't have to. But um, I don't know what the best joystick to get. I haven't got a clue. So if you um, know the best joystick to get for the Sinclair. Let me know down in the comments. Mm -hmm. Carrying on. Ah, uh, I'm a slow one. All right, okay. Um, I don't know if I can kill these enemies. Let me read. Um, can we? I don't think we can. Um, yeah, I don't think we can. We just got a. It's one of those um, things where we have to avoid them. Okay. Unless maybe I can like jump on them. Nope. Well, that just. Yep. <laughs> ah, Seriously? Oh! Sorry. Okay, no, we've got to go and get the bump. 
Um, Sarah's cat look, isn't it? Oh, have we got it? No. Why can I not collect the key now? I think I probably need to play this a little bit more. Um, I haven't fully. Uh, I know some of the controls, but yeah, I think yeah, I need to fully figure out the controls on this one. <laughs> okay, so it's loaded. So, um, yes. So, right. Hopefully we can do this. Um, A is down, Z is X is that way. Okay, so it's mostly those. Um, S to start. Um, hello, Papa. <laughs> um. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, I think I'm. Yeah, I think I'm going down. Oh look! <laughs> ah! Oh, is that what I? I don't think I was meant to do that. <laughs> I think it'd be easy with a um, a controller. A, A, Z, X. Okay. Um, uh, hold. No, I want to go up. Okay. <laughs> Do I just stay here? <laughs> um. Oh, I'm gone. Ah! No! Get out of it. Where am I gone? <laughs> I'm in there. Alright, go. Apparently I can go go that way. Um now. Oh, I don't think I can attack anything. I don't know. Oh I've had my spinach, I wondered what that was then. <laughs> I was like, what the hell was that? Um Guessing I can. Oh, I can. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this is hard. <sighs> um. Okay. Uh, very hard. I can't do keyboard very. I can't get up the stairs. <laughs> okay. It's ah. Okay. Can I go into? No. Um, that is the right one, isn't it? Up. 
guess I can't go in there. Up, up, up. Okay, cool. I think I'm getting hang of it, but I'm not. I'm not very good with. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I want to go. Okay, all right, that way. Alrighty. Um, can I go? Uh, how about good with the keyboard? <laughs> uh, okay, down A. Can I go down? No. I can't go further that way. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing I have to go back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong. Oh dear me. It's all gone downhill. <laughs> okay, right, right. Okay. Come on, you can go down. Why aren't you going down? I'm pressing the right button. Hmm. Oh, okay. No, I've got a... Oh, I can go up. <laughs> Righty. How far can I go up? Wow. Very far up. Wow, alrighty. Um, <laughs> no. Um, uh, can I? Okay. Um, okay. That way, and can I? Okay, ooh, ah! Oh. I think that's meant to be a dragon or something. <sighs> well, I'm dead. But at least we got a little bit further. Um, I think it'd be easier with a controller. I'm just not very good with keyboard. <laughs> or, you know, it just takes some use to get in, I'm sure. Uh, which I have got used to playing some of these games. I just need to play it a little bit longer to uh, get used to it. But, uh, Yes, I'm not very used to playing games with the keyboard. <laughs> I'm a control girl. Control, joystick, yeah. So let's try this again then. Alright, just somewhere. Okay. Shrug accepts that. Well, says Shrada, listen to me, Toyotas. You have taken April O'Neil. To get her back, you must defeat the foot soldiers. I'm guessing we are waiting for you. Ha 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 ha. Press A. I think we done it this time. And we're playing it on my uh, old CRT here. TV, it's a TV. I'm guessing you're going to see this TV often. Um, oh, we actually have some music. There you go. Right, let's see if we can do this, huh? Oh, is it like oh for everything? <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. I've got to choose. Okay, such an idiot. <laughs> Pick a toe. Um. 
Oh, wow. I'm going to go with you. Oh, my God. Where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. What is going on? <laughs> I don't even... So, obviously, that's that. That's my spinny. I have no idea how I use weapons. Okay. Um, maybe... How do I kick butt? <laughs> I, I know those bits, but I don't know um, how I kick kick butt. Uh, we need to find how to do that. Uh, I'm pressing like every button. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, unless we we've already picked this. So do we? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't got a clue. Um, I know we had to move around, left and right, and up and down. But hmm, I haven't got a clue. Now, I hit stuff. Y'all. Hmm. Let's, let's read this. Doesn't really say a whole lot, really. Mm. Yep. Controls. Hello. Uh, it tells me to keyboard you off. Um, A, B, H. No. Uh, oh, H and Q? H and Q. Oh, I... Well, that's... <laughs> got me out of the game, which I don't want. Oh, yeah. H, Q, quit. Enter. Shift. Um, yeah, I don't want to. to see. Yeah, let's choose a different one. Um, to hit things. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really doesn't say anything how you do that on the keyboard. It says everything else, but... Wait a minute, I think I know possibly now. See, this is just... Ooh, everyone's pretty like laughing. <laughs> you don't know how to do it. Um, Ah, there you go. I've done it, I've done it. Okay, right, I can whack things now. Oh, this is hard, though. What is that? I whacked it. There you go. Whack that eyeball. Okay. I'm stuck now. Wait, do I have to go back? Up here? Alright. Yeah. Ah! I keep forgetting to... The button. <laughs> ah, no. Terrible, terrible. Okay, I could get used to this one. Like some of the games are just really hard. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> ah, how do you get up here? <laughs> Ugh. I know I don't know if you can go like that and then Yeah. No. No. <laughs> um yeah, 
So I'm not sure how I jumped across. Um, I'm going to get this guy anyway. I'm not going to be amazing, like I say. Alright, go. Hit, hit him. I'm stuck. Ah, oh, no. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's try it. Um... Okay. Yeah. There he is. There we go. It's just getting up here then. Which I genuinely... I don't know. I don't know if I jump across, but... Um... Oh, well, that didn't help. Okay, are they just going to respawn? Um, don't know. Uh -huh. No. Oh, wait a minute, there you go. I've done it. I think I... Oh, that's odd. <laughs> Seriously, that's how you do it. Right. Ah, yeah, that's that's a crazy control. Oh my god, that's well, that's no. Uh, get this thing. Okay, I think I've worked out, but boy, that is not easy. All right, okay, ready. No. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to get over here. I don't think so. Yes. Oh, um, I have no idea what's going on. Did I just get run over? This bit's really like, bleh. I don't like this. I, I literally can't see my turtle at all. It's, that's horrible. <sighs> oh no. Let's go down here. It looks the same to me, but okay. <laughs> So yeah, um, obviously I'm going to dive more into these games because um, I don't know the controls very well. Um, this is cool. I do like this. This is cool, but it's like that other screen was just a bit like, oh, where is my turtle? You know, um, yeah, that was not very good. But uh, <laughs> this screen's beautifully coloured and um, bigger sprites as well. Uh yeah, no, I I think I would really like this game. It's just the controls I need to figure out <laughs> and what to do. But yeah, this game's very interesting actually. Hmm. As well as the others, which I'm gonna sort of play a bit more and uh, figure them out, like I say. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, bye. Yep. <laughs> We're going to play this game. Um, that's another one I wanted to try out, but I didn't uh, show that in my pile. <laughs> so, I think I know what I'm doing on this. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go with the uh, keyboards, okay. 
Alright. Oh, okay, can I choose? Yes. Left. Oh. Right. Yeah, left. <laughs> oh, now I've forgotten the controls that I put down. Uh, right, okay. Um, what do I do? Oh. Hmm. E was B then. That. Go. Uh, so what was it? I'm trying to think what M was now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, doesn't matter. Oh, we're terrible at this. I do like this music though. Wonderful. Controls. <laughs> Try and remember them this time, that'd be better. Uh, what should we do? So let's do. Uh, Alright. So if we keep that at least. Be for break. Oh man. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, come on. We could do it. Come on, we're getting serious now. <laughs> no! Try to get serious. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, come on, no! Come on, no! Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Move it, move it. I was doing well. <laughs> Time out. Seriously. Come on. Ew. <laughs> I feel I did better that time. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like this game. <laughs> right, okay. No, I think that'd do. Um, I've probably got way, uh, way too much footage any, anyway for this video. <laughs> I was always, I always have super long videos. Uh, um, I would love to get really good at this game actually and uh, play it on my channel actually. Um, this is really fun, this one. Um, and I can play this one on the keyboard. It's not, you know, you can choose what keys you want. Um, which is nice. Uh, I like that feature of this game. And it's really fun and I love the music. Um, but yeah, i got to get used to it. I'm not very good. <laughs> I don't think I did well at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's my um, Sinclair ZX Spectrum video. Uh, there'll be more. We do individual games of me checking them out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna find a joystick. Um, I like using the keyboard, um, but I am a joystick control person. That's what I've always played video games on. But I don't mind the keyboard. I think you can easily get used to it. Um, and I will make an effort to play the keyboard um, side of it, uh, but I'm gonna get a joystick, <laughs> um, definitely, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, bye!